Pull this green shine off carefully. Here is sick with blight too, but we'll be able to heal all of it. Let's go is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Chance to rest. Check my gear.
getting close to Aether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. ...who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me... ...will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regal. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior? To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force 10 active. Led by Kamara. These weapons were only the battle. The 10 were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. But for the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Ten claimed. Ten seized. 
desert. Others were killed in raging sands. Their soldiers What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They sound a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect hey, moment to strike. It said that relic you Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9 out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. The chief is inside. 
Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemy. And I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. 
After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashaw. He will be missed. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respects strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead.
come. Let us speak. The chief said you must speak with Decker. Talk to Chaplain Decca first. Chief's orders. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marsh. Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Just gotta part ways with this machine for now. Deeper, air is getting cold. Should be getting close to stone crust.
Okay. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Katara should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. melting on my clothes. Great. Ah, the wandering outlander. Where's Katolo? What's he looking at? Is that the champion from the east I see? Then I've something to share. This valley is infested with Regalas rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. Path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Akaro's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chieftain from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. <sighs> 
Is that enough for you? For now? You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither. Will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> On me. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. Come on. To not respect a blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the Chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Dakota won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing.
Anything to report? Another watch. What's that now? Another watch. An intruder! Get him over! Another one down! Get ready for her! Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Dakota realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Honor and strength. Last 
Marshal. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer... We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know? the battles that the bulwark has withstood. The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. But tell Hakaro, with all due respect, we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Aren't you supposed to be on guard duty? My strength. <laughs> What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. Guess you've come to the bulwark for the coal root challengers. But it'll take more than words to get Dakota to budge. You're welcome to train here. But you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. We also offer challenges for any fighters looking to test their skills. Complete all of them, and you'll go up against me and Barak. What happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. 
You earn marks from us and the pitmasters in Scalding Spear and Thornmarsh. You'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. Who? The Enduring. A legendary fighter among the clans and a trainer of the champions. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes, if you can beat all the pitmasters. So, what do you say? Let me know if you want to practice in the pit or take on a challenge. The pit is open to you. Did you want to train? Beaten already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall. Know how to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Where is this water coming from? into the hole. Towards a hollow, maybe. The rocks here might give way if I pry at them. First the frost breath, then the snow. Now, better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? 
Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Dakota said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Uh, don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just... Penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? Kind comparison. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense. But you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. Marshals are dead. Soon, Kara will be dead.
not giving up.
fight with honor! <laughs> I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. Hey. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. But killing the rebels and the machine. It was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Uh, no, soon enough. Blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working. Nothing's exploding. This isn't going to work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. 
the bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now, unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns into Kote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. I can grab this from my stash later.
This tastes as good as it looks. Looking up for that. I can override bristlebacks now. And ride them. you down! Lander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the Chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins, turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know what that would say. Madonna can cry as she likes. You'll crush her. I hope you're right. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. 
Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. We both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Your enemy the is desert. Not. That lowlander contestant has already passed their best. Blood and steel should be. Let the challengers blame. Oh, the battle will coming. come for the chief. You can Most feel it in the air. Rent. Let With every blade win honor today. Will the Sky Clan stand tall this after this? Mr. Kotei, this thugs, of course. Look, comrade. Chief Cap, what an honor. A swift victory. Mr. Kotei fixed his ego before coming here. We are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not that. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, 
But you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us. Our struggle demands new blood, new leaders. Release the quarry. Take down a machine. Shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did. And seize your glory.
I don't know. Shots from that ballista.
better. This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! Then all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Arla. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Below. Just 
this place. Oh, I thought I had that. There, that console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. If they can't face these machines, all right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. 
Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Thank <laughs> you.